All right, guys, you join me in a Civic, a 2007 Civic FN1 or Type S. This is the iShift model. So in this video, uh, well, it's my girlfriend's car. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to use the iShift model. I will say though, if you haven't bought one of these yet, don't get a manual but if you have to get the automatic the i shift um which is really a computer or uh, computer operated manual gearbox which is a manual gearbox but a clutch is uh, controlled by a computer from 2007 i'll show you the best way to get the best out of it but first i will demonstrate what it's like in automatic so for the brake shift into auto uh, handbrake down and then it starts to move up like every other automatic gearbox I'm on the gas it just sort of creeps forward ignore the noise of the brakes the exhaust has been done on this so right so I won't touch I mean I would have shifted by now let's clear the the brakes are quite loud, they're quite rusty, so ignore the noise of the brakes. Anyway, these are some weird noises coming from your car. I don't think these are brakes. That's very weird. Anyway, the car hasn't shifted from first, it's still in first. I mean, personally, I would have shifted to second a while ago, but yeah, anyway. Can't be the most economic. Your brakes are squidgy. Like, you're driving this like it's a Tesla, it's not a Tesla, babe, it's not that big. Wow. Anyway, anyway, so we're setting off again. It's still in first. Oh, is that what that noise is? Everything is vibrating. What is going on with your car? Anyway, this is the issue with this gearbox, you see. It doesn't make any sense. There's a lot of car in front of you here, bloody hell. I feel like I'm like so far away from the, from the, from the I can't reach the windscreen, it's hilarious. Anyway, still in first. Again, I'm in automatic. I'm letting the car do its thing. It holds onto gears too long. It really does. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What was I in second when I was doing that? Three and a half before then. Oh, it's so lethargic. It just drives me absolutely crazy. And it's not because I've been driving an electric car with no gears and it's seamless. It's nothing like that. I have this same car, but the manual gearbox. quite lethargic so what I'd like to do or how I think is the best way to use this gearbox is to put it into manual so that you get to control the gearbox yourself only thing with this is that it says manual but it still restricts what gear you can go into and not like a normal manual gearbox you have to go up and down it's sequential right so you can usually use the paddles behind the wheels which I hate using because they are very mushy sometimes you can't even tell if you've pressed it or not or use this lever here which I tend to use okay so now we're in fourth fifth can I go into six it won't let you go into six if it thinks the gear you try to go into is too low or too high should I say it won't allow you to go into it Alright. So the, the thing 
thing with this gearbox is that you can't rush it, right? Even though with like a normal manual gearbox, you can shift quickly if you want to. With this, it's only gonna shift as quickly as it's going to. You can't make a shift any quicker than that. And that's basically it. So, when you're liberating automatic, it holds on to revs. If you're trying to be economical, that is not the way to do it. If you want to drive quickly, that's also not the way to do it because it holds on to revs and it takes a, it takes an age to change gears. So the best way to do it, put it in manual, be observant, plan ahead. The same principles that applies to driving the, the, a gearbox with a clutch, just imagine the clutch is you lifting off the gas right so you lift off the gas you shift into the gear you want you get back on the gas you give it a little pause by the time you've got back on the gas it's shifted for you so it makes it a lot smoother what happens when you try to shift when you're still on the gas let's demonstrate that real quickly right put it into manual so if you're driving along and you want to shift It's okay but then when you start to drive a bit more spiritually as you put your foot down this is what happens yeah. you see that that's what you don't want anyway until the next one